Hello guys, welcome back. Now, because of the circumstances and because the Hawks have won five straight, I've been pushing this video back for a while, but now, because the circumstances seem right, I'm now going to talk about the Chicago Blackhawks and what they should do with their future and maybe the possibility of a rebuild. Now, you have heard that correctly. The Hawks have lost five straight, be it in overtime and a regulation, and it's not really sad because I really do not like the Hawks, but it is pretty sad for their fans. Um, they're 24, 23, and 8. They're in a playoff spot. I think they were like about playoff spot amount a month ago. Um, they're 10 points out of the playoffs right now. They're last in the Central Division, and they, of course, they've lost five straight. So there's a bunch of problems there. Now, as a Stars fan, I'm completely happy with the Hawks missing the playoffs, unless they get Dolan. Well, that would be a different story. Crazier things have happened, but the Hawks get Dolan, it changes their whole situation there. Now let's talk about their core. They have Kane, Taves, Seabrook, Keith, and Crawford. Now their contracts, Kane is 10 point or 10.5 million till 22 and 23. Same with Taves, he's the same exact contract situation. They're the same age, both of them together, they're basically the same contract situation and all that. Um Seabrook, he has 6.87 million um, until 23-24. That's that's terrible. He's 32 years old, so he's kind of getting up there in age really now. Um Keith 5.53 million um until 22-23, which is just abysmal. He's 34, and that's a long contract for him. He's getting paid less than Seabrook still, but that contract is really not looking too great, especially when he gets into his 40s. Same with Seabrook. Those two contracts are going to be awful for the Hawks. And then you have Crawford at $6 million till 1920. He's three more years. Um, he's 33 years old. So really, Blackhawks, if they want to continue to be good in the next, I'd say, five years, they really have to find somebody other than Crawford to play as goalie and less goalie. Unless Crawford becomes something like a Bruva Longo who plays until he's 40 and still is very good at the position. I, I just don't see Crawford being that. I, I He could be that, but I don't know if Crawford will continue to play well into his late 30s. I think that's going to be a problem for the Blackhawks. I think they're going to need to draft somebody, get somebody good for them, um, maybe get like a like kind of fringe starter for them and for the future, kind of like they had with Anthony Niemi, where they can still play, win games with them, but not um, be a play, like a serious playoff contender. But Crawford, they're going to have to look for the future in a few years at goaltender, and that's going to be a problem for them. Now, after winning the Central Division and getting 100 points last season, they, uh, they get swept by the Predators. Of course, and they tried to go back to the roots, acquiring Sharp and Saad. Saad hasn't really worked out for them. He had 24 points. He has 24 points. He was really good to start the season. It was looking like a great acquisition, but then he's kind of just completely gone to a stop, just a stop right now, and he's not playing all that great right now. Six million till 2021. That contract is not looking good at all. Um, he's a good defensive player too, but he still is a good guy to get points. And 24 points right now. He's on pace for like 40, 45 points. That's not really good for him. He's starting off the year strong, but at the second half, he's really not doing good at all. That's why the Blackhawks have not really done great at all in the second half. They don't really have the depth to do well in the second half. And of course, um, Crawford being injured and a couple of key injuries has stopped them from being good. And of course, that Columbus Blackhawks trade that they did in the offseason, it seems to have not worked for either team. Panarin has not really gelled with Columbus yet. He hasn't played great with them. And Saad hasn't really done all that great in Chicago. So I think if both teams would go back and reverse that trade. It really hasn't worked for both of them. Now, they've still got some good young pieces on that team. They got Hartman, who has 21 points. He's doing pretty well. Um, Schmaltz, who is having a great season. 39 points. He's second on the team in scoring. He's doing fantastic for them. Um, Debrinket, who is uh, starting pretty well. He has 34 points. He's doing. He's still doing pretty well for himself. Um, Anthony Duclair, who they just acquired, of course. 20 points. Who's still having a pretty decent season there. Now, they, if they decided to go on a rebuild... They are kind of screwed because they don't have a second round pick or a fourth round pick in this year's draft. Um, it is a pretty deep draft, so that's really important for them. They go on a little bit of a run of just terribleness. They actually get a good second round pick out of that. That team, that that Chicago doesn't have that second round pick, it's really going to be off for them because that could be a great player that they could get. Maybe even a cornerstone player if they draft the right guy there. Kind of like to, uh, to bring at really, who was drafted late in the first round, and then he ended up becoming a great player for them. That could be another great player that they would be missing. And going back to Crawford, it seemed like when Crawford was in, he was really the backbone for the Chicago Blackhawks. He was playing very well this season too, but when he starts to get older and get older, it'll start to be less reliable and it'll start to be less of a cornerstone for the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks are going to have to improvise and going to have to make the right moves here. They could have dark ages really in the next 10 years, maybe um, when Kane, Taves, and all those guys retire and gone, long gone, the Hawks 
could be one of the worst teams in the NHL. They have to make really the right moves here and keep the good trades coming because if they don't, they're good. they could be in some really, really bad times. They're going to have to make some great moves to keep out of that. And we have all this doom and gloom for the Chicago Blackhawks. It could be a lot worse if, if Marin Hossa wasn't allegedly sick or allergic to equipment. He's on, I think it's like just over $5 million. He's 39 years old right now, um, that, and that contract goes for like four more years after the season. So that contract is abysmal, and that could have been even worse if Blackhawks got out. It didn't even get out of that situation. It could be a lot worse for them, and uh, it was just a blessing, a blessing. Allegedly, I'm still kind of skeptical if that's actually a thing there because it seems kind of ridiculous and of course ridiculous at the time But eh, the Chicago Blackhawks do what they, what they want really now do the Hawks need to rebuild? That is the tough question here But they're really stuck in a corner with all these long contracts all these big contracts that if they do go to the rebuild route They won't be able to sell those guys and they won't be able to say, sell the Seabrook the Keith contract because they're too, way too big and they're way too long so if they're going to go the rebuild route they kind of can't really unless they really want to just bury them but bury their top guys which i don't know if they really want to do that so i think the retool route is more plausible but i don't know if they really can do that still because they're going to have to make the smartest decisions that they really can and they're going to have to get basically win every trade they're going to have to be on their a game especially if they want to get out of the basement and actually get into the playoffs somehow some way and really, I think they're going to have to just sacrifice this season for the next couple of seasons. They have Crawford out, and Crawford, of course, being injured, has tanked their season quite a bit. So let's say they get a guy like uh, in the top, let's say they drop or drop to the top five and get a top five pick. That could be really franchise changing for them, especially since this draft is supposed to be one of the best in a long, long time. So they could get a franchise player maybe possibly in this draft and that could really change the whole scope of the team and that could really change a lot there so he could just one player really could change a lot let's say Dal they get Dolan somehow some way the NHL does like to give players to random teams and good teams that have been missing the playoffs so you can definitely see that and of course if Dolan goes to the Blackhawks I'm just going to say game over to the NHL and he's probably going to play really well for them especially since they have good players there now, this is a result of them being good for a long, long time now. I think they're up to eight um, years straight of miss, um, just making the playoffs. And of course, that when you do that, you're going to miss on a lot of good players for the draft. They're going to have to miss the playoffs a couple of times for this. If they're wanting to do this rebuild, or this retool, you got to miss the playoffs a lot to get replenished. The talent pool, and of course, miss, missing the play, or getting the, into the playoffs and play, getting all those late round picks, you're going to have less talent level than you would. And of course, the, they're gonna, they've been relying on role players and situational players for a long, long time now. And of course, when you get big, better players for the draft, you're less reliable on those guys and you start getting better players for that. And since their core is drastically aging, they're going to have to make some smart moves and get some corners thrown players for the draft and maybe some draft steals before they can get back in contention in a few years now. But because I said this, they'll go on a 10-game winning streak and be right back into the playoffs. That's just what happens, right? And that's exactly why I held off this video for a while now, because I was afraid once I make this video, the Blackhawks are going to go on a gigantic run and make the playoffs, because, hey, that's just my luck, right? Well, that's going to guys. Like and subscribe if you have not ring that bell. If you haven't, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.